Hey everyone and welcome to another week in my life. My name is Mackenzie for those of you who are new and I'm so glad you're joining me today. It is currently Sunday, July 28th. I can't believe I'm even saying that. I feel like I've just gotten used to saying it's July and now it's about to be August. But anyways, um, it is currently 12.55. I'm having a late start to my Sunday like usual. I usually don't start checking in to the vlog until pretty late on a Sunday. But I kind of wanted to give you guys an update on what's happening. So I have been editing last week's Week in My Life and um, weekly wrap up like all morning. So that's why I had a slow start and then I went downstairs and ate lunch. And then I just finished shooting for Shein looks. I shot this pretty pink dress. And the two-piece set that I have on, I'm going to keep on today just because I really liked it. And then I shot this hot pink, like, romper-looking dress. And then this two-piece set that's, like, a blazer and a pair of shorts. So, that's what I did. I'm currently waiting for my mom to shower. We're going to head out to the outlet mall, I believe. Um, I don't have much on the agenda today as of right now, but I am going to try and get some blog stuff done. The only shooting that I did today were those four looks, and I think it's probably the only thing I'm going to do. Madison is out and about, so I'm going to hold off on the three other looks that I kind of wanted to shoot and wait to do that. But yeah, I have a lot of planning to do because the end of the month is always super crazy for me. But I will keep you guys updated on kind of how that's going. Like I kind of want to break it down for you guys because I feel like I'm always talking about what I'm uploading, what I'm shooting, da 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 da. But I don't really like lay it out and explain. So I'm going to try and do that this week. So hopefully this will make sense. This is me just coming on to let everyone know that mom and I are matching. Yet again. Yet again. Every the only time that she's ever in the vlog is when, is when I come on to let everyone know that we happen to be wearing the same thing. But um, a pink a pink cuffed shirt. She happens to be wearing jeans. I'm wearing shorts, but we're both wearing our Birkenstocks too. <laughs> We are not having too much luck today. We're in loft right now and I love the loft lounge line. It's like the best and I got a pale yellow and a pale blue to try on. Um, clearance is an additional 15% off, which isn't great, but these are only $15 and they're usually so expensive. Like this was originally $49.99. So I'm gonna try these on. I kind of want to put something school related on it but they have so many cute things. I just don't really need clothes. I don't need cute clothes, right mom? We need casual clothes. I love this shirt so much, but I don't want to try it on because I know I'll like it. That's cute too. I ended up not getting the two pullovers at Loft. I didn't get either. I was torn between which one to get and I didn't get either of them because I just didn't want to spend the money. Like I've been spending so much money like left and right on random things for school um, that I was like, I just don't want, I don't want to spend $27 on both of them. But I did get, I only got one thing at the Alamo. I'm really proud of myself. And I got these leggings for $3.97 from Old Navy. They've got like a green band and they're just navy with a white stripe down the side. And they're a 7 8 crop. So these were super cute and I can cover up the green band pretty easily and just have navy and white leggings for college. Because my school's colors are navy, white, and gold. So I'm super happy about that because it was cheap. But that's pretty much it. I've been using my new straw bag from Sandra Morgan the last few days and I really like it so far. Like, I like it a lot. Um, it is kind of big, like it's larger than most bags I carry, but I do like it. So, it is now four o'clock. The first item of business is to post my first Instagram picture of the day. Usually I post, if I post twice a day, I post once at noon and once at like 8 p.m. But I didn't post because I was out at the Alamo and going grocery shopping. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to post an Instagram picture. Look at that, guys. Oh, boy, does that look good. Right, guys, it is Monday morning and I am getting at it. I have a very, very long to-do list today. And I've been saving a lot of things, like, specifically for um, today. I will just honestly go ahead and read you this list today. I need to do my July inventory list, upload a YouTube video, make sure my blog post is ready, email my Shein links, post my Shein picture, post my Kent picture, 
email a draft over, complete my Instagram stories, um, respond to a company called Dormco, respond to all my other emails, shoot a Sandra Morgan skincare photo, film my July favorites video, um, get my Decode 2 live video in order, write my Tarani blog post and email that over, edit my Decode 2 YouTube video, write my Sandra Morgan blog post, email over my discount glasses link, charge my camera, box up my clothes, finish my dresser and under my bed in terms of getting rid of clothes and making sure that there's nothing in there that I want. So quite the list this morning. I have already done a good chunk, so I'm gonna show you real quick. Um, I'm just in the kitchen right now, but um, this morning I've already done like anything email related. I uploaded my blog post and YouTube video, which is a she and try on haul and styling four of the new pieces. And I emailed over a bunch of my drafts. Um, so currently I'm downstairs getting a bagel and I am going to eat breakfast. It is kind of late, like it's already 10 30, but, um, I've already been, I already did a bunch. I'm going to have a blueberry bagel for breakfast. Um, I'm having a blueberry bagel for breakfast and then I am headed back upstairs to first I'm going to finish the clothing thing because I have a friend coming over to look at clothes. She's the only person like I'm letting come over before the sale that I'm going to have next week that I keep talking about. Um, but other than that, like I'm going to do those clothes and then I'm going to start working on the blog post. I'm probably going to do the Tarani thing first because it's for that company specifically, not for me. Um, but yeah, I wasn't expecting my sister to be home, but she is home today. So there's a chance I might be able to shoot three outfits that I was going to do tomorrow. So I might do that today, but we're really just hitting the ground running. I'm not exactly sure how much... I'm going to vlog. I feel like I always vlog a lot on Monday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then towards the end of the week, I don't vlog as much it's because I'm at work all day. But some days when I need a really, really productive day, I just kind of like forget to turn on the camera because I feel like it's boring. Abby keeps, she keeps sniffing at us. I think she wants to say hi. We have a dog, by the way. This is Abby. Blueberry bagel on a kitty plate. The only way to eat a bagel and the best bagel flavor um, out of all of them. Don't even try to tell me otherwise. All right, I went through all my workout clothes and the clothes underneath my bed and was able to get rid of a few more things and box those things up. So um, that's what I just did. Um, all the boxes are pretty much ready. I still have to go through my closet one last time, but I'm going to do that tomorrow or on Wednesday, like just later this week because the sale will be on Sunday and Monday this week. I just had one friend come over to shop early and um, yeah, I sold $40 worth of clothes, which is great. So I'm pretty much done with this today and now I'm headed back into my room and I'm going to start tackling the other thing. Hey guys, it is quite a while later. It is now 3.15 p.m. I'm not really sure when the last time I checked in was, but I've gotten a lot done and I kind of wanted to share with you what I have done. If you guys have been around for a few weeks now, you would know that like this is kind of what my typical Monday is like, is my Mondays are when I get a majority of blog work done, like where I really just grind it out, sit and focus on a few different things. So this is what I've gotten done today. Um, I'm about to show you on my computer. Um, but my to-do list is getting significantly um, shorter. I've done a lot of these things, which is good, and I'm going to kind of update you guys in a second. So the first thing that I did today was upload the blog post, and I mentioned that this morning that I uploaded my blog post and YouTube video, but I shared three Shein or four Shein outfits. Um, here's just a little sneak peek of the four. These are the outfits that I shot yesterday, and then the video um i posted links to everything so that you guys can shop with a coupon code so that was the first thing and this is the youtube video make sure you go check it out um i'm actually so proud of myself i think i am at 675 subscribers which is awesome my goal for the month was 650 and i'm super proud of myself for surpassing that um it's not often that i meet my subscriber of like um follower count goal and i'm really happy that i was able to do that this month so 675 i'm hoping that by the end of next month like august maybe i'll be at 800 um i just think that like once i'm in a college setting that will probably make me a little more interesting to some people so i got the YouTube video up which is awesome I've uploaded 
like four videos within the last seven days, which is great. So I did that. Then I made a few changes to the blog that I honestly like forgot I needed to do, um, but I ended up doing. So the first thing I did was update my Shop My Style tab. If you guys are unfamiliar with my blog, I have a Shop My Style tab that has all my coupon codes and I added some of the pieces that I've been purchasing lately. Everything that you've ever seen me wear on Instagram or the blog within the last like few weeks is on this tab. So I share... Um, regular pieces of clothing and then if you scroll down I have a section for swimsuits if you keep scrolling I have a section for shoes and then accessories as well so anything that I'm wearing is almost always linked here this is like the number one place to find me and then as I was updating that tab I realized that my about me really needed to be updated I realized that I still said I was um, 17 years old so I went ahead and updated that I kind of updated where I'm going to school I hadn't even put what my Major is or anything so I changed my about me a little bit and then I changed a, a few things on the sidebar this picture is actually from my junior um, prom so over a year ago but I haven't really taken a photo like a headshot that I love as much as this picture since so I left that but um, I added there used to only be one YouTube video showing right there I added three since I am getting a little more into YouTube and I changed a few font sizes and like a couple of things along the side so I made a couple of site adjustments and I honestly do that only a few times a year just because it's tedious and I always forget to do it so I did that which was awesome and then I uploaded I didn't upload I wrote tomorrow's blog post which is going to be some Sandra Morgan outfit ideas I got that scheduled away so I'm really really happy about that usually I do my blog posts like day by day but this week I'm trying to do it a day in advance and have them scheduled just because it makes me feel a little bit better and then I was watching H2O, as you can tell. Um, I was watching H2O as they linked a few things. Um, and then I wrote my post for Tarani Couture. If you guys didn't know, I freelance for Tarani Couture, which is a prom designer. Um, so I wrote that blog post and sent that their way. So I did a lot of that. I just checked off most of those things. Um, I am letting my computer charge and I realized my mom was like, Mackenzie, you probably sound stupid because people, you can like obviously take your charger out of the wall and like charge your computer from anywhere, but I like do not like to move my computer charger. I take it as like a sign if my computer runs out of battery that it's time for me to like get off my computer for a little bit and do something else. So I'm taking a break um, from the computer and I am about to go film my Instagram stories for the day. I haven't done that. And then um, I'm gonna film those and I have filmed my July favorites on my to-do list today, but I'm not really sure if I wanna film the favorites. Like I love talking about my favorites, but they almost like never get any views. Like a lot of people don't watch them. And personally, like I usually skip over the favorites. So I'm about to do a poll on my um, Instagram and see, do people even wanna see it? Because if no one's gonna watch it, then I'm gonna save my time. So that's what I'm about to do. And then I'll hop on when I'm changing it up again. Right now, I am filming a little story session on Instagram for a company. I'm doing a little try on session and shooting three looks for the Boho Sophisticate. I wasn't planning on shooting today, but my hair and makeup were already done. So I was like, you know what? I'll just go ahead and shoot these looks, especially because Madison ended up being home today. So um, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm about to film the third one, close this out, and then finish shooting these looks. So the last piece that I have from them is this little striped um, tee. It's super cute. I just have the sleeves rolled up, A, because my arms are super long, so sleeves on pretty much anything are too short on me. Um, and I just like the look of them, you know, scrunched up, looks really chill. You can tuck this in in the front or you can leave it out. I actually, this is one of the few shirts that I liked the way it looked not tucked in i think that the shapeless little vibe is super cute i'm wearing it with some ankle length jeans and the same white birkenstocks for just a super chill casual look this is great if you're a college student like me and you're just looking for something a little bit more casual i am wearing my little glasses from discount glasses just because it's you know it's more of a chill little look i love the colors in this you've got um like rainbow but like not super rainbowy you know coral light pink blue some neon yellow and a little bit of olive green 
so yeah that's all for this look okay so now that like I have finished so filming it sometimes I go ahead and to, um, I save these and I upload them later but this one I'm doing as I shoot the looks just because um, it's easy and I want to get it done so I'm just editing these adding some words to the slides and then uploading those Okay, so I'm uploading this third look and then I'm going outside to shoot the last look and then when I come back in I will close out this little session. Also, these are my new glasses from Discount Glasses. I don't wear real glasses. These are just like little fake fashion ones, but you can get a prescription in these. I think that they're super cute. This is the line that they promoted in the month of July. Um, I can't think of the name of it right now. It will come to me as soon as I turn off the camera, but um, anyways, I think that they're super cute. So I just finished filming my favorites video. I'm going to clean up after that. I'm actually like really, really happy um, with the video. I always have so much fun filming my favorites. I just like think it's so good to just casually talk with you guys. Um, so that video will be up by the time this vlog is up. So go check it out. Um, I'm really glad that I decided to film it. When I looked at my poll, 75% of people said they wanted the video too. I just filmed on my vlog camera and I'm really glad I did. I just sat right on the ground. Now I really don't have tons to clean up. I just have to put away the stuff from the video. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm going to clean that up. It's now 5 p.m. I downloaded the photos that I just took. I'm about to edit my Deco 2 video. And you know what, guys? Then I'm going to check in on my to-do list, but I feel like I've really grinded it out today. I've done so much today, and I'm really proud of myself. Update. It is 6.13, and the only thing that I didn't do today is shoot the Sandra Morgan skincare picture. I decided not to do that today. Um, and the only things on here that I haven't checked off are post my Kent picture, which I'm doing after dinner, and my July inventory list, which... I'm going to get started on, but probably won't finish tonight. <laughs> mm, <Daisy. laughs> Look at it steaming. All right, it is Tuesday and it is 1.30 p.m. I am not having nearly as productive of a day today as I did yesterday. Um, I didn't end up checking in after dinner yesterday, but the only thing that I didn't get done was my July inventory list. I never went, got around to doing it. So I made a list today, and I'm not really, like, this is how I am. I'll have days like this where I can get all of this done, and then other days where, like, it will be a struggle to get this much done. So today, so far, I made my bed, and I unloaded the dishwasher. I uploaded today's blog post. Um, and I emailed Kent about something and I posted my Instagram picture. That's pretty much all I've done. I'm about to hop on a call and then edit a post for tomorrow. But first I want to talk about this movie that I just watched called Brampton's Own and I really liked it. It was a baseball movie and I just watched it on a whim because I wanted something like chill to watch. I didn't want to start a TV show and I loved it. I looked up baseball and that was like one of the movies that came up. It was a Netflix original and it was so good. So if you guys are looking for something that's that's good. Right now it just says continue watching H2O. So now I'm opening this second box and I'm hoping it's something more exciting than that. Oh, it's my shoes. Yes. Okay, guys, I am working with Chinese Laundry, which is the most exciting collab ever for me because I have worn Chinese Laundry shoes forever. Like, they're one of my favorite brands from DSW. So I'm so excited. These are the two pairs of shoes. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. This is just also really exciting because I haven't really ever taken a shoe deal before. I've taken, um, like, lots of clothes, skincare, but, like, never shoes. Oh, my God. Look at how stinking cute those are. Holy cow. Oh, my gosh, guys. You have no idea how excited I am to wear these. Wow. Perfect. 
Okay, well, I'll try them on, I guess, after. First, I'll unbox the other pair. I got to choose both pairs, so, like, I know what they look like, but, you know, it's still exciting when you see them in person. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I am just on this wicker trend, guys. I can't stop. Like, look at how adorable. Oh my gosh. Let's open the other one, and then let's try these babies on. I got a seven and a half in both. I must be between a seven and a half and an eight, and it honestly just really depends on the shoe. So I'm hoping that the seven and a half fit me, because if not, that stinks. Um... There's really nothing I can do about it. I can just tell right off the bat, like the seven and a half fit, but um, the next time I order shoes, I'll go up to the eight. So I'm watching the Sandlot because I'm just so bored, guys, and I just like don't want to work. Like I'm not in the mood to write or just, I don't just like, I just don't want to do that. Like I don't, I don't want to work. So I'm watching Sandlot and just kind of putzing around, um, but I just made my favorite snack. If you know me, you know I love chips and cheese with the Santa Barbara mango with peach salsa. Seriously, the best stuff ever. If you like salsa, get this. You'll love it. So, obviously, I have not filmed a ton today. Um, truthfully, I just really haven't done much of anything that is worth Okay, hello, everyone. It is now Wednesday morning, and... I know that I like barely vlogged yesterday and I kind of just want to give you a little update and I want to chat guys because there are a couple things that I just I want to talk about. Um, so yesterday my main goal was to get my inventory list done which is basically just when I write down um, everything that came in the mail that month. So I did that and it takes a very long time but you know what I did it and I was really happy that I just got it over with. So I did that. And I didn't end up finishing today's blog post. I'm about to finish it right now. Like, I'm logging into my computer right now. And, but it's okay. Because I started it, I got the video squared away. And so I scheduled, yes, my favorites video. And I scheduled another video. So I got two videos done. But I pretty much just chilled out for the day. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't like overly in the mood to write. And you can't force writing, really. So I was like, you know what, it's okay, I'm just going to hang out. So I spent about three hours yesterday, three and a half, probably closer to four hours, reading this woman's blog yesterday. Now, I have been a blogger for almost four years, as you know, but it is very, very, very rare when I sit down to read someone else's blog. There are a couple times, it's rare, to be honest, and I wish this was a lie, um, it's rare that I read more than five people's blog posts in a week. And I'm a lot better about my YouTube subscriptions, but it's hard to cut out time to read other people's stuff when I'm constantly hustling and grinding to get my own stuff up. And it makes me sad because I really used to love sitting down to read other people about other people's lives, but it's just, it's hard to find time for it. Um, but I found this woman's blog, so... The, her two boys, her two sons, played on Ethan's summer baseball team. They're from Louisiana, um, and her two kids, like I said, played on this team, and I got to know one of them. And I found her, I stumbled across the mom's Instagram. She was private, but I noticed that she had a blog link in her bio, and it was called Baseball to Bows. And this, this, honestly, like, it caught my attention because... Um, baseball to bows. I love baseball and I was a cheerleader, so I'm thinking bows. Hmm. I wonder what this woman blogs about. And I spent four hours on her blog reading about her life, her simple life of just being a mom and they have two adopted daughters from China and they are a very religious family, a very Christian family. And I just sat there and scrolled and scrolled and scrolled reading eight years, eight years worth of this mother's life about her children growing up and her day-to-day -day thoughts and funny things from the kids' mouths and it was so intriguing, guys. I could not stop. I was just sitting there and I was like, 
Oh my god, I love this. Like, it's so obvious that she has so much love for her kids. And it was the coolest thing that all of this is documented on the internet. And it really got me thinking, guys. Like, it, it really got me thinking about my entire life and just these videos on the internet and my blog, my weekly wrap-ups being on the internet that my whole life is just documented there and that's a really 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 scary thing but it is so overwhelmingly cool and rewarding at the same time for some people to be able to watch me grow up and I have viewers who have been with me those the whole four years who have commented and been like I feel like I have watched you grow up so much over the last few years and it's awesome that they've been able to do so in the moment but it's really cool that one person could sit down and read through my entire blog and watch me grow up in one day's time you know what I mean I think that that's a really I don't know it's comforting I take comfort in knowing that um and her blog although nothing related to what I blog about has really spoken to me and it's really just if you guys have didn't know I started my blog um, January of 2016 because I was looking for a hobby and like really to find out what I wanted to do with my life I really loved photography I loved clothes I loved writing but I really wasn't sure if I wanted to like which section I wanted to have a career path in and I, it's become increasingly evident that I'm, I'm supposed to do all of it combined. But at the time, I didn't know that. And my aunt, my Augie, that's what we called her, um, she had a craft blog called Crafty Cath. And I guess posted on that blog, and she blogged for years and years, and she was very popular in the crafting niche. And um, this, she died two, almost two years ago of um, cancer, of lymphoma, that she fought for five years. She was an amazing woman. We were best friends. Um, but anyways, this woman's blog reminded me so much of my aunt's blog, and it was so different, and yet there was some simplicity. You can tell that this woman has tons of viewers. There's always, like, 30 comments on her post, but it becomes, it like, it's so evident that the views are not, that does not matter at all. She's writing as if this is her journal each day. And it's the coolest thing to me. I don't know, guys. I just, I have sat here and I have felt so inspired and just very, very touched that my aunt is with me. That she was with me yesterday and calling me to read this blog to think about her. And that God purposefully put this in my life. I don't talk about my faith very often. Um, but I am Catholic and... Faith is a very hard thing because you're you're believing the definition of faith is believing in something without knowing that it's there. And lately I've had a really hard time connecting with God. I feel I don't feel called to talk to him or to sit down with my Bible anymore. And I don't know why, but I've just kind of let myself be okay with the fact that maybe I need to stray away from God to feel called back to him. And yesterday reading this made me have the strongest urge to sit down and thank God for putting this in my, in my like walk of life for today and to just sit down and really be present with him and read my Bible. And that was a really cool thing. After months of not, not feeling the need to talk to God, I found this blog and I was like, God, thank you for putting this in my path. So... In conclusion, sometimes, guys, I sit down and I read a blog for four hours and I let myself do it because it just completely touched my life. Like, I I had the best day yesterday reading, okay? So that's that. Now it's Wednesday morning. It's 1020. Um, I am currently... Well, I have my email pulled up right now, but I am going to respond to a couple of emails and then my number one task for today is to finish my July 2019 favorites post. As you can tell, I wrote most of it, but um, I was so intrigued by this blog that I wasn't able to finish it. Now my mouse is frozen. Shocker. So anyways, I'm going to finish this blog post. I still have like three sections left to do. The YouTube video is already up for today. Let's go check it out. This is like an eight minute intro for today. My July favorites is up. There's only 15 views so far. Go check it out. It will definitely be up by the time you're watching this. Um, so I did that. 
so I'm about to upload this blog post. Like I said, it's 10.20 in the morning, and by 12.20, no, by 12 o'clock, I need to be out of bed and getting ready for work, because I'm working at 1. So I will catch you guys later. That's pretty much all for today. 11.04, 40 minutes since we last talked, and I just hit publish on my July favorites, and I am reminded all at once why I love to write and why I started writing in the first place. And it is because it brings clarity to how you're feeling. It wasn't until I'm, it's not until I'm writing the, the my month at a glance where I, and like, it's not until I'm writing that, that I'm realizing what I'm feeling as I prepare to move into school and as I say goodbye to, as I start saying goodbye to my friends and as my baseball seasons close, close out, it's really hard to grasp how you're feeling until you write it down. And there are so many times where I find myself writing my post for the month. And that's when I truly realize how I'm feeling in the moment. And I'm feeling emotional, okay? Emotional. But I'm not going to be sad about it right now because it's time to get stuff done. So here's the post that I just finished. Go check it out. My favorites posts are some of my favorites because... It's a place where I can be real, raw, and vulnerable, and I get to wrap everything up at the same time. So, go check it all out. That's this month. Alright, I'm showing you my outfit for the day. Um, I showed you guys these shoes yesterday. Okay, here's my outfit of the day. It's like 80 degrees outside right now, so I shouldn't be wearing a sweater, but... The AC got fixed where I work, and it's so cold there, um, and I thought that this would look cute with the shoes that I'm wearing, so my sweater is from Express, my shell necklace is from Shein, my shell earrings are from Shein, I'm wearing my fossil watch, my shell bracelet is from Stella and Ruby, and the rest of my tassels and puka shells are from Shein. Um, my shorts are just like high-waisted denim shorts from TJ Maxx that I wear all the time, and I realized that I didn't really need to keep this tucked in because it's a little bit shorter in the front. I have the sleeves scrunched up, and then I'm wearing my new shoes that came in the mail yesterday. Um, I don't know if they look too fancy for this outfit, but like, they're not super fancy because they're like this straw looking, you know? And I love them. I think they're so cute, and my shell anklet is from Shein as well, so... That's today's outfit, and I'm going to be bringing my straw bag from Sandra Morgan. Sister Madison is driving me to work. <laughs> Guys, Today, we got my from work, ball. and we're dealing with some hate comments. I've been experiencing a few not nice comments on my videos lately that have really upset me, and I don't know why one singular comment is getting to me, um, like one bad comment is getting to me, despite there being so many nice ones. But it's really upsetting me. If you don't like my videos, then don't watch them, okay? This is what came in the mail today. This purple dress from Shopo. I'm not really a purple girl, but I really thought this was cute. And then the other thing is a bodysuit. And I've never gotten a bodysuit from Shopo before. But let's check it out. It looks very tiny. Like, my torso is bigger than that, right? I changed into jeans, and I am... Headed into the car, I'm going to dinner with my second fam and I am so excited. I have not had the greatest day, as you can probably tell. Um, just a lot has gone wrong and really upset me today and I know that taking constructive criticism is one of my biggest weaknesses. Um, like I'm not very good at it and I'll be the first to admit it, I know that. Um, but between that and just being an overly sensitive person, I just have not had the greatest day. So I am hoping that going to dinner and seeing everyone will make me feel a little bit better. For those of you who do not know, Chase, his, um, Chase's best friend is actually um, moving to Colorado and tonight is like his last day with us. So that's why we are headed out and I'll have to say goodbye to him. And I never thought that I would be sad saying goodbye to a 14 year old, but we have become very close friends. I feel like over the last few months and it's going to be kind of sad. So I'll keep you guys up. Okay, hello vlog.
vlog. I never ended off the vlog yesterday because I was upset after leaving dinner and didn't have a good work day, so I just didn't update anyone. So far today, it's currently, what time? Seven o'clock in, no. 6.52. 6.52 on Thursday evening. This morning I woke up and I did upload my blog post. I did a collab with the Boho Sophisticate, which were the three looks that you saw me shoot earlier in this vlog. Um, so that went up this morning. I was able to get that done. I had to go to the bank and figure something out and then I worked until five. Now I'm with Miss Mannion. Hello. <laughs> and we just killed time at TJ Maxx. Should I show them what you got? Sure. Sure. Okay, I convinced her to get Yogalicious leggings and you guys know I love Yogalicious and I've worked with them so many times in the past. And these were $10, they're black, but I, I don't think I can do this with one hand. We'll show them the bottom. They've got a, a cute little mesh detail right there. I'll link them below if I can find them. Only $10, so head to TJ Maxx. Now we're going to dinner, where are we going to dinner? Juliano's, unless we- Why do I keep thinking it's called, why do I? keep thinking it's called Lorienzo's because that's in Mount Airy. Okay, we're not going to Lorienzo's, we're going no. to Giuliano's. Are those everywhere or just in Maryland? No, just this one. Okay, just this one. So I can't even recommend it, but we'll talk to you guys then. We have made it to dinner and it's 8.15 and we just placed our order. Miss Mannion's in the bathroom and Chase and Mr. Mannion haven't joined us yet, so it's just us, but. Did you guys want lemon for those waters or? We're good. Okay, thank you though. <laughs> Um, so yeah, anyways, we're waiting on everyone else and then we will hopefully enjoy some pizza. We ordered pepperoni and spinach art choked it. <laughs> what did you think of your pizza? It was good. What would you rate it out of 10? Probably an 8. An 8? Why? Why? Well, like, I don't know. I'd rate it 8.5. It, it was just a little too thin of a, of a bottom crust. I don't want to put your yelling in the video, so you have to take it back. <laughs> what would you What would you rate your dinner? A nine. The company. Ah. <laughs> the company was just a nine. All right, hey guys, it is now Friday morning, and it is about ten twenty. Um, last night I don't even remember where I left off. I've been so bad about ending off the vlog each day. I'm gonna try and get better about it, but it's really hard to remember and just. Like, I got home late and I was like, I just want to go to bed. Um, but for those of you who don't know, Thursdays are like my day with the Mannions. We always go out to dinner. We missed our last two Thursdays because they were on vacation one of the weeks and then the other week I was on vacation. But um, we picked back up this week. It's really crazy to think we only have two more weeks. But, um, and next week Connor will be at the beach. So it will just be four of us instead of five of us. So only one more full family Thursday, which is sad. But um, yeah, pizza was really good. Dinner was good. Um, and Connor and I watched um, Remember the Titans. And I haven't seen Remember the Titans in a while. But Anyways, so like I said, today it is the morning and I kind of got, I got up at like 9.30. I've just kind of been putzing around. I got ready. Um, my hair just is a disaster. You know those days where you know you should have washed your hair but you didn't? Um, yeah, that was me today. So it's sticking in this bun. I'm wearing an outfit that I'll show you later once I put all my jewelry on. I hate putting jewelry on until I'm ready to leave the house. So I'm working at 3 o'clock today. I have a few things to do before I go in. And the first matter of business is watching Jane the Virgin season finale. I wasn't here on Wednesday because I was out to dinner. So I need to watch that. Um, and while I do that, I'm going to upload today's blog post and YouTube video, which is going to be a Dakota haul. And I'm going to post my Instagram picture because I literally didn't even engage yesterday. I just posted my picture because I didn't want to get off of my habit on the very first day of the month. Um, but on Thursdays, I always forget to post. So I posted that and I didn't even engage on it. So I'm going to do that and fold the laundry. Those are the three things I'm going to do while I watch Jane the Virgin. And then I'm just going to kind of sit and scroll through Instagram because... We're trying to get to the next milestone, guys. 5,000 followers is awesome, but it's only halfway there to 10K, so um, I'm going to do that. And then afterwards, I'm gonna see what time it is. I know the season finale is like two hours long, but it'll probably take me an hour and a half to watch because I don't have commercials. And then it'll probably be lunchtime. I'll update you guys when I eat lunch and when I start doing other things. My closet sale is Sunday and Monday. Um, 
and Sunday I'm only going to do like a few chunks of hours but I also need to sit down with my planner and kind of see what I'm doing for the rest of my two weeks here um I just like I need to see specific people and get I just am a mess guys okay I just really need to sit down and organize my thoughts we are taking a detour for lunch I didn't finish Jane the Virgin yet um but I did get my YouTube video up so go watch it it'll be up by the time you see this definitely and mom and I are not matching today she's wearing black today <laughs> I got stairway to Freebird. What's on it? I can't see your hands anyway. What's on it? It's lettuce, tomato, chicken, and bacon, and Havarti cheese, and the best honey mustard ever. Okay, and I always get the motley chicken that's with no lettuce or tomato. It's oh, what kind of ch pepper jack cheese, bacon, ranch, and chicken. So good. Okay, what would you rate your meal? <laughs> I'd rate it um, a nine. A nine? What? What would give it the ten? Oh, better chips. The chips weren't that great. I rated my. I was gonna rate mine a nine too because they changed the chips. They're not as salty, and they had a weird flavor. There is always a little part of the chicken that's like weird. That's because they probably microwave it. But too. I love it. It's so good here. Some mother-daughter bonding time. Talking shoes. We're talking Birkenstocks. We don't need any more, but you know. It's always fun to look. We are now in Walmart and we are in the snack aisle right now because we're picking out some snacks for college but we're getting some last minute things. I decided against the shoe rack that I told you guys about in the video and I'm getting two of these because these will actually fit underneath my lofted bed. And then I got two plastic clear containers for my makeup on my desk cut. And then I picked up this gold lamp because I needed another lamp for my desk. And it's six dollars. Went out to lunch and to get ice cream. Like, oh, but you have to you have to put it back and then and then bring it back out. Okay, now. <laughs> this is seriously why I do not go to bed with my hair wet because what is this? Not as long of a to do list today, but it's a lot of bigger things. So first, I need to shoot two outfits for today's blog post because I don't have anything ready. Then I'm gonna upload that blog post, and then my main goal today is to clean out my closet and start packing up my clothes. My closet sale is tomorrow and Monday, so I need to hit the ground running. And then I have a couple of other like random things like clean the bathroom and upload today's pictures and stuff that I need to get done. Um, I have some emails that I re need to remind myself to email in the next couple of days, and then I have a few ideas started for tomorrow. All of packing everything up. Mom's gonna have a fit thinking this is a mess, but this is what people wanna see. They wanna see the actual process. So in this box, we have all beauty-related things. And this is the most important box of anything I'll bring to college, and it is my box you full of candy. Of Madison is splitting up the all Why? pink bag of Starburst. I don't know. Okay, everyone, so basically I'm going to give you a little update. So for the closet sale that I'm having tomorrow, this is what the room looks like. I had everything packed up, but my mom needed some of the boxes to start packing up my college belongings. So now this room is kind of a disaster again. So I have clear like Rubbermaid um, boxes to put everything in, but I also need to start packing up my stuff for college. So I have one of these that I showed in my dorm room haul. And then I have blue Ikea bags, which is how I'm going to be packing up most of my college, most of my clothes for college. Um, I will be just grouping hangers together and putting a trash bag over um, for things that I hang up. So pretty much just sweaters and coats and everything else I'm gonna fold up um, and just put away. So as Lowell's shoes. So right now, I'm about to take everything out of my closet, like everything that's hung up, and lay it on my bed right here, which is not even made. And then, I'm going to go through and really look at something and be like, will I wear this again? Like, yeah, maybe I like it, but will I wear it? And then, I will either put it into the clothing sale, or I will pack it up, or I will leave it in my closet because I'm not bringing it to college. So basically I'm going to be packing and purging at the exact same time. Right now, this is what it looks like. I basically just put all my sweaters on one side and my dresses, rompers, like everything that's hanging up on that side. My closet's like really not that big. Everyone thinks I have a really big closet, but I just really maximize my space. 
I wasn't able to take out all my like tank tops and stuff that are on these white hangers just because it was overwhelming like and I don't have a place to put it so I'm gonna start with dresses I'm just like not sure what shoes and stuff I want to pack up yet like I might wait to do shoes until um, like later like closer to leaving but oh my god guys let's just get started okay I haven't kept my clothes in color order in forever but um, it was kind of stressing me out so I put everything in color order dresses jumpsuits and rompers and instead of keeping like three things folded over I hung everything up on its own hanger there are still a significant amount of dresses and rompers underneath my bed but for now I'm gonna leave just this I haven't packed away any of these just because I'm not really sure what dresses or jumpsuits and stuff I'll want to bring and I don't really want to think about it right now so I'm just gonna organize the closet and then I think I'll get back to like I thought that I was going to uh, figure out and put trash bags over which hangered pieces of clothing I want to bring with me but that seems overwhelming today I'm just gonna make this as organized as possible and then go from there I am moving on to bodysuits crop tops little things like that okay these are all of the tops that I kept some of them I just um, are summary that I won't take with me and others are just too wintry I'll grab them when I come home whoa when I come home for Thanksgiving break um, I pulled out I donated tons of it and then I pulled out basically um, Alexa volume down three I pulled tops that I would want to bring to school basically I only allowed myself to bring white black and my school colors so a lot of my wardrobe is yellow as it is um, and honestly guys like I think I'm gonna be wearing turtlenecks like Christmas I won't or I won't be home until like November 15th so like I'm gonna need stuff like this turtleneck there already so I'm gonna like go through this again once I pack it up uh, but I brought like bodysuits and stuff and then I pulled the sweatshirts that I want to bring with me I have two Kent under my bed and this is where all the rest of the dresses were but I hung up all of my dresses because I wanted them all to be in the same spot so I'm going to I used to have clear bins up there with two-piece sets in them and I'm gonna put the two-piece sets all in here I think really really good progress on my closet everything is hung up and in color order dresses jumpsuits and stuff and there then I have this like little spot for outerwear which is just like vests, army jackets, denim jackets which truthfully I never wear but as soon as I get rid of a denim jacket I always find a need for one. I have a few flannels here. I got rid of a few. I don't wear flannels a ton but like these are not that old. Um, so I'm just I'm leaving those five and then here I have sweaters. I did get rid of a ton of sweaters but I still have a bunch. I'll take probably half of these with me and leave the other half here. Honestly guys I have not had this much closet space. Um, since I've been in high school so probably five years since I've had that I've been able to do that and then just a small amount of um hangers over here up here and all these clear things were always full and I emptied out all of them just because in here were hats and stuff okay my donate room is getting bigger by the second like there's literally so much stuff in here um and I just keep putting things in here because I'm finally like clearing this out um, Alexa, stop. I hate having to turn her off, but I don't want to get copyrighted. Okay, this is what my closet looks like. It's good. I pulled out some shoes. I pulled out boots and sneakers, like basically things that there's no chance I will need to wear in the next um, two weeks. I left like little shoes like this and all sandals and stuff like that just because I'm going to pack those later. I still have to shoot quite a few things in the next two weeks and there's a chance I'll need those things. And belts and stuff, like I still need those out. Scarves I haven't packed yet. Um, I left that stuff there. There. you'll notice that I have no boots up here for the first time ever like these heels and stuff like I'm gonna pack that later I don't even want to think about it the clear bin that was under the bed is just empty right now and I have two bags of shoes which honestly like looks ridiculous but in this bottom one are like my over-the-knee boots and two pairs of hunters so that took up quite a few um, quite a bit of space these things I need to move because they're going to donate or to my sale pile Okay, this is what is left of things I pulled. I packed up this little thing, and in here I have matching workout sets and leggings, tank tops, sports bras, like everything workout is in that one. And then in this, I have sweatshirts and workout like zip ups and pullovers and stuff. And then in here, I have just about everything under the sun. I have two piece sets, 
like random pairs of pants like snakeskin pants and hats and my hunter liners and a pair of gloves all right i have been all over the place in this part of the vlog just because i keep like organizing something and then it doesn't work out or something so this is my clo clo bleh, I can't speak. My closet sale room is officially ready. I'm gonna take you through and show you what's happening in here. I'm not ready to get rid of all of my prom dresses or even think about renting them out. So I have seven of them here. If someone wants to buy them, great. If not, I'll just put them right back in. I'm gonna just start over here. Over here I have some jewelry, a couple pairs of sunglasses. And here I have graphic tees, sweatshirts, denim, shorts, basically just tons and tons of pants. And here I have lots of sweaters, tons of turtlenecks. You can see like they're just really packed in there. And here I have activewear, sports bras, spandex, tank tops, quarter zips, leggings, anything you could think of and here I have two piece sets and skirts I'm only selling two pieces together and here I have like the largest box of tops you could possibly think of tank tops turtlenecks flannels long sleeves any kind of top you would ever imagine and here I have a small amount of swimsuits some pajamas like boxers shorts long pajama sets um, and here I have hats and belts here I have a couple of accessories like just um, headbands and cheer bows here I have ponchos, wraps, like pretty much anything that you could think of scarf related. I have tons of shoes, size seven and a half and eight, like lined up over here. I have some makeup in here, like I'm selling my Naked 2 palette. Um, these I just am giving to someone who has a pool just because someone gave these to me and I don't have them. I'm selling this one Oliver Blue bag. And then over here, I basically took everything off my clothing rack um, so that I could hang up all the dresses and stuff. I felt like that would be the easiest way to shop and just really get a feel for what I have. I'm not selling the prom dresses over there. They're just up there. Um, I have exactly 60 dresses, jumpsuits, rompers, um, all like wow guys i can't even tell you how many things this is like look at how many okay and then i have a couple of jackets um fuzzy jackets like pea coats um vests utility coats just trying to get rid of stuff guys and then madison has one small box over there that she wants me to put out so as you can see i've been busy it is now let's figure out what time it is i'm done with this room i'm ready for tomorrow i hope it goes well and i hope that it is a success it is now 4 25 so this took three hours but you would think i was done because i just told you how excited i was about my closet but i didn't think i was gonna have to take all of the clothes off of my clothing rack and have them in my room but here they are so i don't know what i'm going to do with all of these i might put them in the clear container underneath my bed um just like i don't know what to do with it all i mean i can fit some stuff in my closet because like i said i clean out my closet and have some space but i really don't have much more space than like this so i guess i could go ahead and start putting things in those drawers but basically i think after the closet sale um whatever doesn't go i'm taking in to consignment store or to plato's closet and um my clothing rack i'm probably just gonna leave empty because like i'm not gonna leave anything on it because that will no longer be in the guest room it will be in my room permanently like while i'm in school because it doesn't need to be in that room so that is what i'm doing that's i i have to deal with this mess which i really didn't want to do but um I just, I feel like I should just box it up and put it in containers and stuff because there's really, it's unrealistic to think that I'm going to put it back on the clothing rack. Um, not to mention there will be mail coming for me. I have like 40 pieces of clothing coming in the next couple weeks. So that's that. Also, the drawers that I packed up are too heavy. So I'm just probably going to drag this back into my room um, because... I'm overwhelmed and don't feel like packing up all my clothes today for school. So, really done, guys. I'm not gonna contradict myself anymore. This is the last time, I promise. Um, but yeah. Okay, this is every dress, jumpsuit, or romper that I own. I know it's a lot, but it's a majority of what I wear. All but two. Two, I ran out of velvet hangers, so I have two dresses up here and then skirts up here. Because, like I just told you, like I had to find a place to put all those clothes that were on the clothing rack. And here I have rompers. In these two bins, I have two-piece sets. I have jackets, sweaters, and t tops. And then my shoes are there. Okay, so my closet is, again, full. But you know what? It's closed. So that's what matters. 
Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with these clothes and shoes. These are things that I want to bring to school. So that's that. Now that we are finally done cleaning, we are rewarding ourselves with dinner at our favorite place. Is everyone excited? Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is the craziest thing we've ever done. Mom got a shrimp BLT, Dad got French dip, I got buffalo chicken, and then, wait, I'm giving who the other half of this? You? We're sharing this, and then Mom and Dad are sharing this, and dad and I are sharing this. <laughs> mm. All right, guys, we're out of dinner. What would everyone rate their meal? Dad, you're first. What would you rate your meal? Oh, it was an absolute 10. An absolute 10, really? Seriously, or are you just being funny? It was good. So you wouldn't give it a 10? <laughs> I could have used more shrimp than my sandwich. So you'd give it at what? A nine? I'd give it a nine. Mom? Yeah, a nine. A nine? What was wrong with yours? What, what would make it a ten? Make it a ten? Yeah. Um, Better company? <laughs> no. My, the bottom of my um, chicken was a little like cold, uh, like wet. Something. something was wrong with it? Sorry. I would give today an eight. Earlier in the week, I gave it a, a 9.5. Today, I'll give it an eight because I, I wasn't a huge fan of my wrap today, but the French dip was really good, so today is an eight. Mom and I are out running errands for the hundredth time in the last month. Our first place of business is Bed Bath & Beyond where we are returning the rolling shoe rack because I bought those two for $14, two shoe racks yesterday at Walmart. And this one was $45 and it won't fit. So that's what we're doing first. This place is Sierra. I've never been here, but mom wants to look for shoes. It didn't work for me. She says they might have a Hydro Flask here for me. I've never been in here, but it's kind of cool. They had Hydro Flasks, but they, they had like just the kind I wanted for only $20, but it, it's like lime green and I I could do just about any color but lime green to be honest. <laughs> We're in the shoe aisle. What are you looking for? Um, it's kind of like TJ Maxx in here. It's owned by TJ Maxx. Right? Oh. Mom has dragged me into Michael's now. We're, we're searching for a frame. What is this frame for, Mom? Uh, Madison's artwork that we just did. Oh, they did a, um, what's it, what's it called, a drip? No. A paint pour. They did a paint pour experiment and now they are framing it. I need to buy frames. This is gonna be a next week's vlog, me frame shopping with my dad probably. I have to film a bunch, or I have to frame a bunch of prints from Desenio. I ordered 12 of them. Two of them are for Emma, two of them are from our, for our bathroom, and the other eight are for my wall. I'm basically just doing no decor except for a gallery wall. Like no pictures of anyone else, no string lights, no tap tapestry, whatever you wanna call it, none of it. I don't like little random knickknacks. Like that's the one thing about me. I hate clutter more than anything, and I hate junk that's just thrown together. So I specifically picked out prints that I think will look good together and mom's gonna help me when we get to school figure out a way to place them. I am in TJ Maxx and I am looking for something other than underwear to spend my money on. But I have a feeling that's that's not gonna be the case. Table runners. I kinda wanted a table runner for one of my dressers at school but I don't see a good table runner around here. I was able to find a water bottle. I almost forgot about the water bottle until we were in the checkout line and mom goes, did you get a water bottle? Which is the whole purpose of going. No, not really. So, okay, I wanted to get a Hydro Flask, but honestly, like, guys, I'm just so iffy and clumsy with my water bottles that the $12.99 Hydro Peak knockoff version was good enough for me and they had the black at the 30 I think this is 32 ounces yeah 32 ounces with like the lid kind was good enough for me so I got that and now we're headed home right a college student now who's on a major budget. I'm a call I'm a budgeting college student she's right okay are we headed home now we are headed home we are headed home this is the end of this week's week in my life vlog I'm ending it 
stop here. Thank you guys for sticking around and I will talk to you tomorrow morning um, for my next week in my life vlog, which will be the closet sale madness. So yeah, be check, sure, it out. check it out. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe and I posted seven vlog posts this week and like four videos. So you better go watch those two, okay?